Well, form is patchy again. We're out of another cup, but we're still in the lead. That's the main thing. And can we really seal the deal today with Potter's Bar and Dover? Who knows? Get in there! Yes, two more wins today would really push us right up there. But the FA Trophy, we are out of it. Altrincham beat us 6-5. What a game of football. Chelmsford beat us in the league 1-0 as well. At home, unheard of. A few wins in around it. But today, it's Potter's Bar first of all. King in goal. Yes, we've got a new goalkeeper. This boy is rather good. Tom King, 30 years of age, Welshman, that's it, he's never actually played for Wales at any stage or another, but he's just another big upgrade on Gunter. Gunter's obviously got the potential, but this boy will be coming in for the minute just to help us out, he's got decent value on him as well. Mitchell at right back, Tompkinson, Shipley and Stewart, yes, another new one, Sean Stewart, 23 years of age, a four and a half star, three and a half star current ability left back he is rather good nice little defensive player there bullard and brunt in midfield lewis brunt 25 years of age huge value this boy is worth a lot of money apparently he's a central defender or a defensive midfielder we're playing him center midfield of course we are but he's rather good and hopefully he'll be fine for us another one on free transfer eiffel new villa yes josh new villa new Nuv Nev Villa. I'm going to have to get used to that one. A left winger. Again, plenty of value in him. Can play right side as well. Very, very handy player. This boy comes in on a free transfer. So not bad as well. Oyatendi and Fal up front. Yes, Cargbo on the bench. Raki on the bench. Thomas on the bench. Morgan on the bench. Brooke on the bench. Gunter. Akanaga. Urgan as well. Now you're probably wondering then, where's the rest of the players? Yeah, we've, um, let me just click on someone and go to the transfers. We've sold some players and we've made some money again. Finn Tonks went out for 22 grand. Connor Roberts, 2,000 pounds. Elliot Thorpe, 68,000 pounds. And then the, <laughs> the craziest one of all, Max Dickoff. He's on nearly two grand a week. He's gone to Rail Bedford, and they're in for two or three others of our players as well. It's absolutely bonkers. I don't quite get what's going on, but because like Gunter, Rail Bedford, what Rail Bedford, and a whole host of other teams. Yeah, I think Morgan might be Rail Bedford as well. They want them all. I don't know where they're getting their money from, but hey ho, let's go. Pick up from where he left off last time out. You'll do fine. Sea Thieves Cavern is pumping. It's ready for the wizards coming here. Yes, I called the scholars actually. Potter's Bar. I would call them the wizards. Stuart with the corner all whipped in. It's still bobbling around. Bullard there as well. Shipley gets it out to Stuart again on that left foot of his. Shipley into Nuvella. Nuvella in. Eiffel can't quite get there. Brunt into Bullard. Brunt, he's a big lad as well, isn't he? Foul. Brunt. How big is Brunt? Oh, we attendee. Oh, how big is Brunt? Didn't realise how big he was. He looks huge in the match engine. He's six foot two, so another big lad. That's good. Of course, he's meant to be a centre half, isn't he? So, Bullard over the free kick. You can do it. Come on, Alfie. Just like your old man, Jimmy. Oh, 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 oh. Beautiful. Oh, no wonder. No wonder he's taking the plaudits out there. What a strike. Bullard bends it top bins. That is one hell of a goal. Yeah, goal of the season there, I think. Stewart. Novella. Shipley. We've got the two ginger lads down here. <laughs> left back and left centre half as well. Look. Couple of gingers in here. Can't beat it. Tompkinson. To Bullard. Out to Eiffel. Eiffel down that left hand, right hand side. Normally on the left, isn't he? We've swapped it. Foul. Goalkeeper makes a save. What a... Gordon Banks, eat your heart out. Bullard. Into Eiffel. 
gives it back to Bullard. What's he going to do? Dinks it to the far post, but no one's there. Oyatendi to Brunt. Oh, should have had a pop. Bullard will, though. Bullard will. It's offside. <sighs> Brain in goal. Foul. Gets the ball to Stewart. Stewart forward. New fella. New v villa. New villa. And then that one's going to be a... I'm going to check that one out. That's a weird one. Shipley. Shipley now to Brunt. Brunt into Bullard. Loads of space. Bullard, that's a lazy pass from Alfie. Brain forward. Mitchell under it. We've literally got four centre-halves playing now. Bullard making the run into the box. Goes himself and makes it himself. 15th goal of the season for Alfie Bullard. Lovely stuff. What a strike. What a run. And what play, Eiffel, lovely ball through into Bullard's feet. Didn't have to break stride. Just burst in there and in off the post. Fantastic finish. Yes, that's what we needed. Make it two. 20 minutes gone now. This will put us 13 points clear at the top. Not quite enough to win the league yet, but we're not far off. Eiffel, out to Mitchell. Eiffel gives it back to Mitchell again, whips the ball in. I attend he does get to the ball. And he puts the cross back in. It's there. And Marcus Eiffel makes it 20 goals for the season. 3 0. Yes, that is one hell of a good goal again. I attend he whips the ball in. Goalkeeper comes flapping. And I attend he, what is, it's not a great goal, but it's a good goal, isn't it? Yeah, it's just a fine finish. Fine finish. Bullard with two. Eiffel with one. Keepers flapping again. What is he doing out there? Stewart. Stewart now. Sean Stewart to Mitchell. Eiffel to Bullard. Ball. Mo foul. We know what happens now. That's four. 28 minutes on the clock. Lovely stuff. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Eiffel. It's fantastic watching him play. Bullard. And then Mo Fowl. It's just joyful. Yeah, some fine goals being scored here today against Max Mitchell's Potter's Bar. Put in the Wizards to the sword. Right. Tompkinson to Bullard. In again. Oyatendi doesn't quite get there. This will do our goal difference. And our confidence no end of good. Bellow, oh my goodness me, King got down quick, made sure that that wasn't going in. I think it was him who actually touched it, but we'll uh, we'll go with it. Rankham in, see King doesn't come off his line, that's the only difference. Gunter does like to come out and claim them. But this is good, this is good stuff, new fella, injured. Thomas and Eiffel, you can switch. Oh, actually, three and two. Mm, yeah, we will switch them back over. That's not good. Another youngster, another one of our new boys injured. Bullard with the free kick, whips it in lovely. Thomas, he don't want to be <laughs> let down here, does he? Tristan Thomas, 11th goal of the season. 5-0 on halftime. Yes, that is just sublime. He's had a few injuries himself this season. Thomas, chest it down, one touch, and the second one ends up in the back of the net. Lovely stuff. Just what we needed today. A nice little goal. Glut of them. Fantastic stuff. Keep it going. Second half of football here at the Sea Thieves Cavern. 14 shots, 10 on target. XG of 2-3-3. I think it'd be better than that, really, wouldn't you? But I think we will make some changes, freshen it up. Yeah, Morgan and Racky onto the pitch just to give fresh legs in there for the new boys. No point ruining them at this stage of the game. We've got plenty of time left to go. The season king! My goodness me, he's been beaten from distance. A 30-yard special. Wow, let's look at this again. Coma. Gives it to Osagari, and he bends it in there. 
Yeah, not happy with that. Not happy at all. But consolation goal for Potter's Bar. I would say so. We'll praise the boys today. 5-1. Somebody there said they'd rather have stayed on the bench. Don't like it when I see that. He's been beaten again. <laughs> He's been beaten again. Now, this is what I was saying. Like King and Gunter, there's not a lot of difference in them, really. And King's all at sea. He hasn't played much football. That's the only thing you can say. But <sighs> just hope new... For, new New Villa. In fact, I couldn't give a monk as if he didn't play. The problem actually has been a lot of games we've played lately, there's been a lot of goals in them. He's made the save this time, has he? No, it's actually hit the bar and gone over. Yeah, that 6-5 was bonkers. Absolutely bonkers. Foul. Too Eiffel. Beats one. Jinx inside another. Hits the post. And it comes out, but is put back for a corner. Yeah. It really was one of those games. You've never seen anything like it. Football manager just dallies one up some and sometimes and just says, Leo, here you go. Here's a game of football that just defies all logic. 13 points clear. Billericke. Where are they? Mitchell to Thomas. Mitchell whips it in. Foul. Can't quite get there. Brain has come out and clutched the ball. He was in his brain that time. Right, Tompkinson. Why didn't he just nod it over there rather than doing that? And somehow we've not conceded. I don't know how. Coma over. Yeah, King, he's only in as a backup as well. So I think maybe we should not have him starting games. It's gone in. <laughs> Oh, your tendy manages to put it away. Yeah, maybe King should be on the bench, I think. But, you know, Tompkinson, or your tendy somehow manages to get it. Oh, it hit him there. Oh. Yeah, interesting. The defender blasted it against him. Right, there we go. Well done. Next game, let's go. Yes, well, Nuvella is five weeks with a calf muscle injury. Brunt makes his debut. Bullard on form. Great game of football. Dover next. Let's go. Right, team to play. Dover. Gunter comes back into goal. Mitchell, Tomkinson, Shipley and Stewart. Bullard and Brunt in midfield. Thomas and Eiffel back on the wings. Foul and Cargbo up top. Carry on from your last match. You'll do well. That's, of course, the call today. Here at Dover, Tony Joyce in charge. Just got to put in a good performance. That's all we need to do today. Tompkinson beaten to the ball and Gunter makes the save. Now, bringing Gunter back in. There's interest in him. Will Bedford want him. That team really are driving me around the twist in a minute. They're just Some of the players that they put bids in for were fringe players anyway, so I wasn't really that bothered. But if you're going to go for Gunter, who's five-star potential... Two and a half star current ability. He's got plenty of room to grow. Eiffel into the box. Pulls it back to Cargbo. And Hamzad Cargbo, 39th goal of the season. Back from injury. Back on the score sheet. Yes, that boy, he is fantastic. Had a little couple of two-weeker again. Comes back. Fitness levels back up. Back in the starting team. And 39th goal of the season. That is one hell of a strike by Cargbo. Considering he has no left foot, that's the bonkers part of it. He's all right foot, left foot's just for standing on. Tompkinson, Cargbo, Brunt, Shipley takes over. Eiffel, Cargbo's making a run, but not there. Eiffel sold him down the river a little bit with that pass. Come on. Stop it. Yes, Gunter. Yeah, King's only here on a short-term deal, just to the end of the season. And that's what it's all about, really. We just a couple of players we brought in short-term. Even Brunt, I think we brought him in short-term. It's a thousand pounds, but with all that money we had, we transferred it over into wage budget and um, able to offer a bit more money now. Eiffel has another great shot, but just bounces off the defender's legs. Yeah, we've got plenty of wage budget again, so... We might uh, 
start looking to invest in next season. Yeah, I'm thinking of it. 16 points clear. We're nearly there again, aren't we? Bullard in off the defender's legs. Thomas in. Bullard in post. Eiffel penalty. No. Why? Why would he not shoot? Why would he go on go on his knees if it was uh, anything but? Oh, Stewart's been done there. Brunt back in though. That's what's good about having a centre half come defensive midfielder playing central midfield. Someone who can just do that sort of thing. Eiffel in pulls it back. Thomas Bullard. What a strike by Alfie Bullard. Oh, oh this boy. He is just fantastic. Foul. Out to Eiffel. Eiffel. I thought, where's he going to go? He pulls it back to the wrong person, really. But Thomas does make something of it and gives it to Bullard. Yes, and he did the rest. What a strike. 2-0 to the good against Dover. Dover, another one of the teams up in and around us. Eiffel to Stewart. Stewart lumps it forward to Fowl. Doesn't get his header right, though. And it's Dover. Holding on to the ball for a minute. Shipley, Brunt in there. Cargbo, foul. Cargbo, foul. Eiffel. Oh, Marcus Eiffel. 21st goal of the season. Fantastic. Yes, that is fantastic. What a bit of play. Brunt to Cargbo to foul. Into Eiffel. And he just dinks it. What a finish. Yeah, you... That is beautiful. That is beautiful to see. 3-0 up now, half an hour gone or so. Seven shots each, but we are making them pay. Come on, lads. Let's just see this through now. Positive mentality. Eight shots. Three on target each. We've put three of ours in the back of the net. Wow, what a f the hell did I just see then? Long throw? Can he do that? Didn't know he could. Okay, well, Naylor, Manton, we win the ball, but now we give it back again. Naylor, Shipley, Stewart, this is better. Brunt, Cargbo, Bullard, had to check his run a little bit, but fouls in and foul makes it four with his 24th goal of the season. Oh, it's beautiful. It is fantastic. Brunt in midfield. It's just revolutionised this whole team. That little bit extra strength in there is fantastic. Yes, a bit more experienced player. He really does know what to do. Now, 4-0 to the good. Are Dover going to get one back? Ball in again. Comes back out. Bowling. Gunter had it covered, I think. The boy is good. Now, yeah, Mitchell, can he do long throws? Long throws of six. So when he's just launched that ball miles up the pitch, how on earth did he actually manage to do it? Because in reality, he shouldn't really be able to. Dover have had 12 shots, but they've not hit the target. And this is this is a game that could be 4-3. You know, they've had the chances... And that's another chance gone back in. You know, Dover, what are you doing, boys? It is crazy sometimes. You see things like that. Manton, it's another shot. They've hit the bar. Gunter was beating all ends up. But it didn't go in. Three changes made. Brook, Oyatendi and Hakan onto the pitch. Come on, lads. Just see it through now. 4-0, four different goal scorers. Could we make it five and five different goal scorers? It would be nice just to get that record. Dover, 16 shots. They've got an XG of 1.33. They've deserved a goal. But we have put them under a bus today. And just gone, get out of that. You ain't getting out of that. Dover Athletic absolutely destroyed. That's another big chance gone. Look, that is another huge chance. 18 shots now to Dover. 1.67. They're nearly up to the same XG as us. That is 
crazy. Praise the boys. Oh, and unusually, we didn't score. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Everyone's buzzing. Five minutes of play left. Crazy football. Crazy football. Are they finally going to get one back? They do get their consolation goal. It's 4-1. They've been knocking on the door all day long and they finally got a goal. <sighs> mental, mental stuff. And there we are. It's another fine performance. To me, this is nearly time. We must be closing the door now on the title. We are now... So that's 16 points clear, and there's only a handful of games left. Well, we'll be in for those last few to uh, seal the deal. Well, thank you very much for watching, boys and girls. It's been another great episode. Wins, goals, fun. Can't go wrong on this channel. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.